and... But no, nobody believed me. CIG released content. Hello YouTubers, this is Nubifier on the 28th of March 2022. After a long break, CIG released Inside Star Citizen titled Wear and Tear Affair. Here's what you need to know. Jared did the intro from a balcony in Manchester. He said that we needed to be a little bit patient during the next months as things get sorted out and return to normal. We were shown a cool segment hosted by Forrest. Guns, gear, and the outside didn't look good together, meaning the snow on the gun didn't look like the snow on the armor. Biome is a cumulative effect of weather over time. More snow is more snow on you, more rain is more rain on you, as it should be. This new shader tech is also becoming procedural. It reduces redundant work and improves consistency. The TLDR is the wear shader is getting a next level upgrade. Jared hosted a sprint report. NPCs currently will clip through, but a new resolver is a placeholder that's being added so that NPCs will choose to go around rather than just blast through. NPC flight is being adjusted to improve the flight path and allow NPCs to choose landing locations. NPC FPS logic is getting an improvement in how they react in various new situations. They're working to make it so NPCs will be able to stand up, buy a drink, sit down, consume the drink, and then dispose of it. More work is being done on Pyro's derelict outposts so that they can check the metrics to ensure a player can navigate the location. Jared mentioned work is being done on more points of interest for Pyro. The point of these points of interest is to provide a lattice of locations to prepare for future missions to be added. There was a tease for something that Jared said that would be spoken about later this year. That's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.